Buongiorno da Genova. Well, good morning from um, Genova, the best western. I'm not going to show you my bedroom because it's fucking messy. Sort of stuff out. But these are the shower units I was talking about. Each of these, there's four of them. Oh, there's a shower head as well. But these uh, are adjustable. And uh, the fucking blast it, fucking, well, thermal hot water. It's totally blast out every fucking thing in your skin. I must admit, I was pretty clean. I feel clean and it's, uh, it's good. Marble. That's up and down, it's teeth colour. <laughs> It's pretty good. Right, messy room. Yeah, too messy to show you. Even my bed is fucking messy. Well, it's Monday morning, 20 past 8. I've been up since 7 o'clock, just been mucking around in the room and just had a good sleep actually. I was shattered after yesterday's adventure. So I went to my bed about half 10. Probably went to sleep about quarter past eleven, so not bad. I feel a bit uh, isolated without up and uh, a bike, motorbike, and scooters and mopeds everywhere. I like the mosaic floor. It's a really good, uh, good looking city. This. A bit cloudier today, though. Cloud at the north, but that might break through when the sun gets properly to work on it. But just like everywhere, um, I'm not even going to bother announce, uh, announcing that. It's just too much of a mouthful, isn't it? Especially at 20 past 8 when you've got a bag in your mouth. Just again the entrance into my Best Western Hotel. I wonder if the Craig Larrick one has a, uh, a similar technology for everything. Reception. It's all very good. I'm going to have to get some breakfast. It's quite busy for now. Came out my room. Breakfast room is right across from my room. That was a totally unbelievable breakfast. I'm just sitting out here having a cigarette. <laughs> Can't remember the Italian name for this coffee, it's something weird. But um, it was absolutely brought. I couldn't even film in the breakfast room because. Um, there's too many children and stuff, uh, look back and forward, briefly services would, would have been impossible, and plus there's so many numbers <coughs> into the table and back away from the table, that sort of stuff, so it was a case of just um, do my upload of breakfast out here. Fucking brilliant, I mean, yoghurt, I, I'm not going to go through everything, but if you can imagine a, a, a very traditional continental breakfast, times ten, um, Everything from cheeses and cold meats and uh, I mean I know that's the way they do it in, in Europe anyway but uh, that's phenomenal. Yogurts, everything tasted so fucking good as well. The bread and the croissants and the, what do you call it, the weird things that I've never eaten at breakfast time. Really, really good. And as much, co I mean the evenings, uh, two expensive coffees would have cost you uh, about six euros, so. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I think it was a, it was a case of uh, I was covering the camera because fucking kids walking about. It's nothing worse. It's different for the mobile phone, but it's like uh, um, anyway. Fast.
Right, so I've got a uh, checkout to do. Pay room tax and also um, pay for my breakfast, which is extra, which is not a problem. And then I'll I'll get a taxi. I'm not walking back to that fucking hell of bus stop, bus station. Too far, especially with a grub sack in your back. So, and the heat is up to it's already up to 20 degrees. Fucking phenomenal. Come to Genoa if you got a chance. It's just a, a really good Italian city. It's just a pity last night. Well, I, I actually I'm feeling that it was a good thing that the bars and most of the restaurants weren't actually open for Sunday night because I couldn't have handled another fucking night in the wine. Well, I could have, but uh, you know what I mean. I like I like waking up with a fresh head. And I, I must have the last couple of mornings I've done quite well. I think that fucking Scottish lagers are a fucking problem. And I think gin's a problem. It's alright having a glass of gin. I like a gin and tonic and I like a gin and a bit of lemon, but uh, it just seems everything in the fucking UK is, is uh, purposely fucking made to f taste like shit. And make you feel like shit. I mean, the, the, the actual thing about the uh, the lager is a, it's something I've known for years. I just thought to myself, why on earth uh, can you go and have a drink and then fucking five minutes later you feel like you've been fucking uh, anaesthetised? I can't pronounce it. That's what it does to me. It just makes my fucking head block. It doesn't even make me feel good. It's horrible. So, uh, I'm, I'm of the opinion that something, some chemicals are added to the laggers and whatever they do to the, these laggers um, are causing fucking people to be fucking, uh, well one thing, addicted to the product but also um, standing like fucking zombies. That's why you see them when they're drinking, um, uh, this, is, uh, this is true what I'm saying. When they're drinking away, they just suddenly uh, stop fucking thinking, they stop talking, and they just fucking end up like fucking dead zombies. I notice it all the time. Probably people notice it with me, it's fucking chemicals. Nah, fuck that. I'm paying good money for fucking getting... I'd rather come, I'd rather save my money and come over to fucking Europe and have a decent beer. A decent wine. Anywhere in the world apart from fucking Scotland or, or the UK with their shite beer. <laughs> right, let's get this fag down there. You do realise I meant to say get that coffee down there. Not the, uh, not the fag. But that's another point in question. See, I, I got tobacco yesterday called Horizon. And, um, I haven't even fucking coughed once and yet you fucking smoke anything that's uh, buying a shop in the UK and you're fucking coughing and splitting every fucking two minutes. It's just terrible. Uh, I, I actually think that fucking uh, there's been a decision made somewhere, maybe in Brussels. Okay, let's, uh, let's fucking uh, kill the fucking British, uh, especially the Scots. And I think that fucking sturgeon is fucking in cahoots with it as well. Fucking moaning all the time about Westminster, but yeah, she fucking quite easily fucking wipe out the council tax. She's in charge of council tax in Scotland. She can quite fucking easily say uh, if you're below a certain in income bracket, you don't pay any council tax. It's just ridiculous people having to do that. It's what they call the percentage values of your income. So the lower the lower your income, the more council tax you pay percentage capita. You know what I mean? So if you're getting fucking benefits, uh, you're paying about 27% of your benefits on fucking council tax. Yeah, if you're uh, earning 100 grand a year, uh, you're only paying about fucking two or four percent. So that's the difference. Standy fuckers in the Scottish Parliament. Any of them? Wish it never happened. Sitting in fucking like dinner day fuck all. Same with the ones in Westminster. Hate them all. I wouldn't be voting anyway, ever again. Shout out of the fucking crap bastards. Can't stand any of them. 
in line feet from Boston. Back at the Fanta d'Italia, the principal uh, bus station for uh, collecting my bus for Milan, and um, I'm here more than an hour early just to be well. That's just the way it is, eh? So it's one of these kind of buses I'll be travelling on. Excellent. I will wander over that way. See what we got. I mentioned yesterday about that cruise ship, uh, you might just see the top end of it. It's massive above that building behind, but uh, unfortunately security uh, won't allow any um, stowaways to go through. You've got to have a pass to get on that ship or something, so unfortunately no access. Which is fair enough, especially when you're carrying a rucksack, they probably think I am trying to get on fucking board, get my way to Alexandria or uh, even Algier. But uh, whatever they're off to, I dare say they're probably off to somewhere fantastic like Beirut or Tel Aviv. Maybe not. Where else would they go in the Med? Probably Alexandra, Egypt. Anyway, um, that's the, the harbour area down by. Or Genoa. Like the underpass here. So. Fucking cracking warm day as well. Too hot in the sun actually. <laughs> 